Which you guys got another video here for you. Quite a basic one, this one, but how to protect your documents or Word documents. We're going to take a look at that in this video. Now, if you want to password protect this and send it via email, or you want to keep them on your PC, or maybe keep them on a USB flash drive, and you lose that flash drive and it's unlocked, it means people will be able to see the content inside of it. So if you want to password protect it, I'll show you how to do it. It's very easy uh, to do this one. Let's go ahead and open up this document here. Once you get the document open, you'll see here that there is an invoice here. Now, if you want to protect this invoice and you don't want other people to see it, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go up to where it says file here. We've enabled uh, the editing for the actual document here. Go to file. And when you go up to here, what you want to do is go to where it says info, click on info. And this will open up this area here which is going to allow you to uh, protect the document itself. You can inspect the document. You can do a bunch of other stuff in here, but the one we're interested in is this one here. So when you click on this here, you can have the drop down arrow here, and it will basically say encrypt with password right here. So you can restrict edit in, and you can also restrict access. And there's a bunch of other settings inside here that you can set. You can always have it opened as a read only file so you, people can't touch the file in in editing ways but we're going to go ahead and click on this encrypt with password and this is the bit where we can just give it a password here you want to give this a strong password so uh, people can't guess it but i'm just going to keep it simple so i know exactly what it is and we're just going to put test in here and we're going to click ok here and you can re-enter this password. You want to use a, a stronger password than that, you can see here. Um, so basically, we've now password protected this document here. So let me go ahead and close this off, and we're going to save. Once we've saved this now, we've got the document right here, and if you open, try to open this up, you'll see that you get a blank screen here, and you can't read the content inside until you put the password in. Now, if you put the wrong password in, and click OK here, it's not going to allow you to uh, enter the document and it won't let you do anything with that document. And you'll be forced to shut it down and try to open it again until you put in the correct password and click OK. And it'll allow you to now open the document and read it and edit it and do all the stuff that you want to do. So there is another way you can do it, which I'll quickly show you as well. So if you wanted to, you could use some sort of zip program like 7-Zip or WinRAR or something like that to password protect the document that way. So let me go ahead and right click here. And we're going to go to 7-Zip. I've already got it installed here. And basically, you can just add this to your archive. So let me go ahead and do this. Add to archive. And now we can see we have some options available to us right here. And on here there's going to be an area to enter a password and encrypt it. So let me go ahead and put test here, and we'll do test here as well. So we've got this password protected twice here. So let me go ahead and leave this as is, and we we'll click OK. And here we have the actual document. So this document here is now going to be the one that you're going to be sending. You're not going to be sending the open attached uh, document here. You would send this password protected one. Now, if someone tries to open this with 7-Zip here, I'm going to right click on this document and go to 7-Zip. And we can now see open archive. So let's go ahead and open it. And you can now see the actual document here. But you may be thinking, I can open this and look inside of it. Not only has the document got a password protection on it, the actual uh, file has been zipped up and also has another password on it. So you've got double the amount of protection here. So you can see here there is a protection on here. Let me just show you. And straight away, it's now asking for a password on that document. So if I go to type test, this will open it up. But now we've got another password here. Uh, to obviously get into this document. And we won't be able to do this until we actually type in the second password. A little bit paranoid, but you know, if you've got a real sensitive document and you want to protect it, then you can double protect it just like that. And uh, people will not be able to gain access to that document. 
Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. That is just a quick basic video on how to password protect your documents. Anyway, that is going to be about it. That is just a quick basic video on how to protect your documents, uh, especially Word documents. And uh, if you like this sort of content, then let me know in the comments section below what you want to see next, and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video. Hope you're enjoying the bank holiday weekend. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.